In this video, I will show you how you can generate LinkedIn posts with, for example, photos with AI automatically. And of course, you can use this concept of human looping also with other LLMs like OpenAI and Traffic Cloud or Google Gemini. So what I will do here is I'm going to use a picture because it also helps me illustrating the human on a loop enterprise version that we're having. So the dumpling we already previously demoed in a different video, if you want to check it out. Let's go, therefore, directly into Human on the Loop. As you know, we have this fill by AI, so in case you want to create content that should be reviewed or you want to introduce some HTML structure for some emails, I recommend you using it and testing it out. It works quite neat because of the time being. I'm not going to use it here in this case to not further waste time. So let's say we're generating this welcome email here now, and we want to review this picture. And we can introduce also a Boolean, which we call regenerate. This becomes later more important. We could also give a reject reason why we didn't like it. So we could add this knowledge to a data store later on to train it. In the reject reason how to train or how to prompt the model to become better, we're going to demo in a different video. So, without further ado, I'll generate now the video. So, while the picture is loading, we are now generating the human on the loop. And in Make, you can just simply click your URL and you can go there. A lot of customers ask me, well, where can I get this link to review? We do not notify you. You can choose where you want to notify yourself, how you want to be notified. You can add Slack, Teams, email, Telegram, whatever comes to your mind, whatever your business uses as chat communication, you can use to notify yourself. So now here we have our picture. We to review, oh, it actually looks good enough for LinkedIn. So in here, I can now go and I can click adjust and I can choose. It actually does not need to be re regenerated. Just no. And I can just click adjust and it's approved. As I customized this page in my human in the loop, some of the colors don't match. No? But overall, you can customize nearly everything. You can send along data. You can even customize additional data in the advanced one. You can just add a JSON, for example, or JSON string. In the basic, you can manually map it. So with this set, now we should have received at this scenario a human in the loop request. This scenario is turned off with a purpose. So in this scenario now, what we could do is we could build a condition because let's say we loop things and we're not happy with it. Well, the easy path is, of course, we liked it, we proved it, it goes out to LinkedIn. I will not post it live on LinkedIn now, but imagine I would do this, I would just run it, it would go through. But if we want to regenerate this, we can have here, based on the data, and I will do this right now so you can see it. We have here now the option to regenerate the picture, which is true in this case for demo purposes. And if we filter here now for being true, the regenerate true equals to true, it would go into our flux. And we could even provide here in the flux the reject reason. So we did not like the picture because of and you could prompt it to be become better and then you do pretty much the same you trigger another human on the loop request that fires again the web hook if you said it's not good enough it goes back so basically what you're here initiating is called a state machine in make you can build state machines like this in a web hook chained system and with this, you can easily loop with just some modules, theoretically unlimited amounts of AI generated content until you're happy with your content. And let me know if you found this helpful. 
And if you want to know more, something like this, post below. <laughs>